Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about some of the counter arguments against some of the Islamophobic attacks against Muslims and try to analyze them and see if they make any sense at all. Thanks for those people who have told me uh, some of the things that they encounter and, uh, and what an answer to. I'll try my best. Look, I, I'm no professor. I'm just a guy uh, um, uh, who's an activist in the Muslim uh, um, scene. And so I come across some of these and it just goes around in my head and I think, you know, it, it doesn't make sense or not. Yeah. Um, and there'll be people out there who are far better than me, love to see your videos, love to see your blogs, lo love to see what you have to say about some of the arguments against Islam. So one of the, the, the key arguments that these kind of um, uh, Zionists and, and uh, far right slash Christian American evangelical nuts, right, uh, uh, like to use is Islam is not a race. So let's just analyze this. Race is a category, right, really, um, became important, right, and took off when um, white European supremacist ideology needed to um, categorize people so they could exploit them, yeah, they could make them the other, yeah, and they could then uh, justify why, for example, blacks needed to be enslaved. Race, as in skin color, yeah, differences in appearance became powerful when the economies of the West needed slavery to power them. And so what they said is, you black people are inferior, you are an other, yeah? So we can then discriminate against you, we can say that you're culturally inferior, we can say that you're not, uh, uh, your, your values are other, different, more savage, um, and you as a human being are so different that we can exploit you because you're not quite human. As the basis of really white supremacy, othering, creating an other of another group. So political exploitation for economic advantage and uh, to satisfy their own need to feel important and better than everyone else, yeah? So white supremacy. Although racism itself was a, was a debunked philosophy, it took new clothes on and it started to exploit Muslims, yeah? So again, white predominantly supremacists, yeah? Um, clothe their supremacy, right, uh, in, in, in a new attack, yeah, um, against Muslims. And what they said was, um, this other, yeah, the Muslim community, their values are different, yeah, they're, they are um, um, savages and backward, yeah, they're culturally, religiously inferior to us, and because they are so savage, we can justify whatever we do to them, um, allowing their economic exploitation of the Muslims and Muslim countries as they currently do. So, so all of this supremacy, all of this bigotry against Muslims, it wasn't in a vacuum. It allowed them to exploit Muslim countries. You know? So the root of both color racism, yeah, and what you might call cultural or um, uh, religious racism were no different, yeah? Although the term racism, these people like to narrow and shrink, yeah, really everything about it is the same. What they argue then is they say, well, no, it's, it's not the same, even though pretty much absolutely everything is the same. And they, they hinge it on this, this important point. And they say, well, it's not the same because a black person can't change into a white person, whereas a Muslim is free to change. You can change from one thing to another, right? But that in itself, and it shows that these supremacists haven't really thought their argument out. That in itself is a racist argument. Because what they're actually saying is, if blacks could change into white people, yeah, if they weren't uh, um, so disadvantaged, and they, you know, poor black guys just you know can't help being black, can they? You know, it's a disability. Right, so it's unfair to take you know the, the mick out of people who are disabled. Right, so it's wrong, isn't it? Whereas you're you're not disabled. You 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 can, you can get up out of your wheelchair and walk if you want to. Why aren't you walking? See how see the thinking behind that kind of awful argument? Yeah, what they're saying is if black people could tomorrow become white, you know, using a special magical cream that you get from um, um, a, a lot of black and Indian stores, right? Uh, right, they lighten your skin, yeah, um, they can become white, then it'd be all right to take the mick out of them, because they can now become white, you know, they, they, they don't have to be, you know, disabled, right, in some way, yeah, it's their own fault that they're black, right, <laughs> see how, how racist that is, and, and so what they're saying is, oh, well, Muslims, Muslims don't have to be Muslims, you know, they can, they can convert, so it's all right, with black people, they have to be black, you know, poor guys, 
again, that argument doesn't stack up. It's just another racist argument to cover. Really, what they are is bigots, yeah? Narrow-minded bigots, white supremacists, who are, again, picking on another community, yeah? You've got to recall, right, and, and, and remember that they themselves don't believe in this defined and, and, and limited definition, yeah? Jews are protected under the race laws, and Jews are ethnically diverse, yeah? So, um, you can get a black Jew or a Chinese Jew as much as you get, get a Russian Jew, yeah? So, or an Arab Jew. So all of, the, there's many Jews from across the world, all ethnically diverse, all different colors, right? Not a race, protected under the race laws, and you will never find these crazies, right? Uh, um, um, you know, saying, well, you know, hold on there, we should be allowed to attack Jews, they, they, they're not, you know, they, they, they're not a race. You know, they can change, if they, if they want to be Jews, they can change into a different religion, yeah? Pathetic. Same as the Sikhs. Sikhs are, um, uh, you know, genetically as div diverse as, as the Muslims. You get white converted Sikhs as much as you do, um, um, uh, you know, Sikhs from the Punjab, right? Totally different colour, totally, totally different cultural histories, everything different really, apart from their faith, and yet covered under the race law. You just don't see these, these right-wing crazies ever argue that case, so how are they all of a sudden arguing it against Muslims? Yeah? Racism then is a form of bigotry, really, against another community that is less powerful than you. So it's almost, racism is, is really in its, its most potent force, and, and really uh, the, its most um, dangerous when it is coupled with power. You have a powerful state or block or majority of people othering a minority that is powerless and that's the real danger of racism. So it's, so it's not the word. The word racism really um, is just another word that encapsulates the bigotry of the, um, the, the powerful against another powerless community. So that argument really facetious, uh, only a really thick dumb guy would argue it, but they will argue it, they'll argue the toss out of it because um, it's important to them not to be called a racist. Why don't you tell your own story, yeah? Why don't you tell our Muslim story instead of having these crazies tell it for us or having people like um, Quillian Majin Nawazi Stooges say it for us or having um, um, you know, I don't know, you know, these, these government page um, Uncle Tom's tell the story to, to, to white folks um, and so that they can only hear our story from people who sell out uh, or on the other extreme, some kind of crazy, who really is a crazy, uh, reinforce the prejudices and stereotypes that the media like to put on us, yeah? Get our story out, we're reasonable guys. Um, um, the people we're fighting are just bigots. They don't really have an argument as far as I'm concerned. I've never seen a good one from them, so uh, it shouldn't be too hard to debunk if we just open our big mouths, you know, and stop, stop um, hiding all the